Good morning Capricorn, how is everybody? Still very cold out there? Some of you could be dealing with a life path 5, Sagittarius or Taurus. Anyway, how you doing guys? Uh, so uh, Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. What have they got coming up this uh, this week? Uh, please make sure that you smash that like button, Capricorn, if you can. Uh, make sure that you also watch the video for its entirety from the beginning to the end, if you can, because it really helps out the algorithm. Comments, liking, and just watching it as long as you can, okay? Really does help out. Uh, so, let's see, Capricorn, what have you got coming up this week? So, there you go. I'm feeling cold, cold-hearted, argumentative provoking also provoking an argument so if you are talking to someone and they're acting a little bit weird and a little bit strange and they're kind of like sorry if the background kind of uh does that <laughs> i do apologize but you've got the five of wands so it feels like that someone is provoking a person here uh also when i'm woking when i'm waking so it's like in the morning time for some of you now it could be your partner they could be internally going through something but struggling at work also okay struggling with a relationship struggling at work struggling to get things going and because i'm so wound up i've kind of like provoking you into an argument which means if one of you doesn't want to and the other one does this is where communication is broke down, where like someone's probably having a bit of a nervous breakdown or they're just kind of like very stressed out, extremely tired. And then the first person in the in the line of fire is you. Could be a lion, could be a Leo or an Aquarian. OK, uh, don't forget, I also read in numerology, meaning Cappies, you can watch Gemini's and Gemini's and Cappies because you're both major Arcana sixes. So I'm hearing anybody's like major, major, Maria, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian. Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, but I'm picking up like M's, okay, MJ, MD, all of those kind of things. Uh, anybody's got D in their name or B in their name also. Uh, anyway, but uh, don't forget you can watch as, like, it doesn't matter where you've got, like, if you're a Cappy and you've got no Gemini in your chart whatsoever, you can still watch it because it's a six. Relates to, like, um, numerology of life path as well, okay. So let's see, but your message as it stands so far I'm provoking you into an argument, okay? So you've got the lovers in reverse. There you go. So it could be yourself or a Gemini, but there you go. There's the six energy, right? So it's like this tormented kind of energy. Like, I love you, but I also hate you at times. And I love you, but I want to argue with you, okay? So is that love? Is that alchemy? But like, is that love or is it not love? Because it can be something that's very minor. Like, it's kind of like, oh, it's just a hiccup. But, you know, will you please stop keep looking at me as if I'm at fault and to blame for your life? Five, to me, always means a marriage, a commitment and relationship. But it also means work, okay? So normally, when someone gets home from work, they're very stressed and the first person they take it out on is maybe someone that has Gemini in their chart, maybe. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, this could be family members because it could be mothers that also do this to anybody. Okay. Because the lovers could be someone that's older. Okay. I'm also hearing Amanda. Uh, Mandy also. Um, let's see. Uh, Capricorn. What's Capricorn got coming up this week, please? So you get the Wheel of Fortune upright, okay? So <laughs> it feels like work, stress and work. I'm stressed at work. And the last thing that I need when I get home from work is to listen to you moaning. It's as straight up as that, really. When I get home from work, the last thing I want to do is have to deal with whatever it is that you're going through at work. If our work is different than each other, then how on earth can that be the same? If you have to work harder than me, that doesn't mean that you can take it out on me because you have to work harder, okay? It's a difference of opinion. Like I said, a lot of people in life, they might be very wealthy and they don't, they don't, say for instance, if you've got a desk job and you like this, right? You sit down and you don't have to overexert yourself. But my job is extremely stressful because I use a lot of energy, right? Some people, they go to work, they stand up all day, they do whatever they do and they come home and they're tired, okay? I'm also picking up someone that's even retired but can't retire, okay? It's like someone that is above the age of retirement but they're actually not retired. This is like a part-time, uh, old-timer, part-time job, okay? So I've got a part-time job but I'm still very angry when I get home because I don't want to be working at my age, okay? So this person could have gone 
past retirement. Now, if it isn't any, because that can be like a mother, okay, that still goes to work, okay, but they've passed retirement age, but they still need to keep going to work because of the price of everything. So what I'm picking up as a message is, I get home and then I've got my mother going on at me, okay? And then all of a sudden I've got my relationship that starts having a go at me also because of blah, 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 this, that, and bills and finances and this isn't enough, that isn't enough. Who the hell on earth can I please, right? No one ever seems to be pleased with anything that I'm doing, right? So there feels like that there's a, a victim that is of the brunt end of the stick of what we would say in the UK. You're the one that's going to get the brunt end of the stick. So if my mother or father does that to me and then I've got a partner and then my partner starts bitching and moaning at me, what the hell am I to do? I can't carry the burden and the stress and the weight of everything that you're doing at your job. OK, so it feels because this is always Capricorn energy here is your ruling planet. Right. So it means like work could be very stressful. Lack of work, lack of motivation, lack of attention. I can't seem to gain focus and work at attention when you're constantly making me stand to attention, Snell or Shell or Michelle. But like I can't seem to do anything when I'm always having like say a distraction, your phone constantly bing. Bing, bing, and you're like, oh god, man, you like stop distracting me. I'm trying to concentrate. Bing, what's that? Can you get some milk on your? Oh, like, fucking hell. Bing, okay, like, it's like a pregnant person that wants rocky road, and you're kind of like the husband's kind of gone out and they're like, oh Jesus Christ, man, I've got to go home and I've got to like, Jesus could be a Pisces, okay, but like Jesus Christ, man, do I have to like, you know, I've got to get home and then I've got to sort this out, I've got to sort that out, and then I've got to be someone's going to be nagging in my ear all like, and you're like, oh. God, <laughs> poor men. I mean, I feel I'm sorry, women, but I feel for the guys because I am one, and I know a lot of guys that are constantly nagged at all the time for not doing anything right. Okay, now the majority of you people on here are women, and you're all going to say, "No, it's the men." It's up to you, bruv. <laughs> you do what you want here. <laughs> but um, let's see. Let's see. So, but it can be easily overcome here with the five of wands, the lovers and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so Capricorn this week. What's Capricorn got coming up this week, please? So you get the seven of swords, you see. You're avoiding me. Why do you keep avoiding me? Bing! Why are you... Bing! Oh, bing! I don't like it when you don't pay me any attention, when you're focused more on other things than me. When you're focused at work. What are you doing when you're... God damn it, how many times have we gone through this? I am at work. I'm working. I'm at work. Are you at work? Yes. Yeah, so why are you bothered about what I'm doing during the day? Why are you bothered what I'm doing during the day? Have you ever wor wondered why life is so complicated? Because we're stuck in numerology of nine. Okay. Life is a balance between dark energy and light energy. Up and down, left and right. Okay. Good days, bad days. Very rarely it comes in loads of good qualities and then some bad qualities. It normally comes very its way it's equal. Some very bad days, some very good days. Very much kind of like on that teetering balance of, right? So when you look at tarot, we're stuck from 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6, 7. Okay, so why do you think Dolly Parton sang from 9 till 5, <laughs> right? Because 9 of 1 till 5... I'm annoyed, <laughs> right? paranoid, <clears throat> Ozzy Osbourne, someone from Australia, right, but you've got this like lack of attention, lack of focus, maybe not seeing what is right in front of you, which means if I'm run out of money, I'm going to have to go and get more money, if I want more things, I've got to work harder than what maybe someone else does, okay, so we've gone over this before, because I think this message is here, People that are self-employed, self-employed, even though they may not come across as that they have to work harder, they actually have to work longer than someone that clocks in and clocks out. Okay, so if you work at a shop and that's like, okay, the shop opens at nine, closes at five. Okay, you pretty much work from nine till five, right? Or how many hours it is that you're designated. When you get people that, say myself and they own their own company you work when you work and you finish when you finish okay 
is you don't get health benefits, you don't get all the other benefits, you don't get days off paid, okay? If you go on holiday, you don't get paid for that week or two. You don't get dental, you don't get anything else that you get benefits when you work for a person. There's a myth, or Smith, okay, or Stuart, but there's this myth that, or Smith, <laughs> you're right, Tim. <laughs> Tim, nice, but Tim. Me mate Tim is a Gemini, there you go. Okay, lives in Ohio. Um, or is it Idaho? Can't remember, Tim. But, like, you know, people that work, okay, for themselves, they have a lot more to do. And there's a myth that people that actually have their own company and have their own business have it easier than people what they do when they have to go into work every single day. And because people think, oh, well, you work for yourself. You can have time off whenever you want. You're free to just be able to answer your phone. You're free to do all of this because you work for yourself. What makes you think that you're any busier than what I am? Okay. It's a myth, it's bullshit, okay? And if that is a bull, which is Taurus or Sagittarian placements, okay, it's kind of like this stress, okay? Stress head, stress Eric, okay? But like, I'm getting really annoyed, blah, 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 because you're not paying attention to me because you're paying more attention of work than what you do me, okay? Right, Merilium? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so uh, you're paying more attention to other things in life than me. Does it sound true to anybody? Have you had an argument recently and it's still ongoing where the other person's like, huh, okay then, if you're not going to pay any attention to me, I won't pay any attention to you. I mean, does this work, person work for a childminder or what? Okay, or is it Charmander? Okay, or Amanda. <laughs> Sorry, Amanda, if you are. But like this, huh. Okay, then, if you're not going to give me any attention when I want it, I'm not going to give you any attention when you want it. And let's play a silly little game, Michael Douglas. Let's play a silly little game. Well, what does Seven do here? When Seven carries Five of Swords, doesn't pay any attention to people that are like, you're not going to get my attention that way. You're actually going to make it worse. So if you want blocking, I'll just block you out. I won't listen. That's pretty much what I do. When people act stupid, crazy, best thing to do is turn your phone off, completely ignore them, and don't give in to their intimidation. People that intimidate you to do what you don't want to do. Okay. So they play a game with you. They play mind games. Probably manipulate you into an argument. Probably provoke you into more of an argument. The more you don't pay them attention, the more that annoys them. The more that you don't tend to their need all of the time. They need you to pay more attention to them. But the more you're busy, the more they get frustrated. Okay. So you get this, like, what... What are you doing? Like, I don't get what you're saying. Like, it's starting to do the Libra, what I say in every Libra reading, maybe. The sense that makes none. It doesn't make any sense. You, the way you're communicating with me is not making a lick of sense whatsoever. So how do you want me to communicate with you? Because it's like an adolescent child that gets all like, oh, God, I'm all getting all antsy pants, and I can't sit still, and I can't, like, oh. And you're like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Right, yeah. Now, if you've got one of these people where you're saying, yeah, they st keep running back to their karmic, please get that crap word out of your head, okay? If you are on your own and you are single and you're trying to get the attention of someone that keeps going to another person, that makes you the karmic when you're on your own, okay, roughly. I don't know where this myth comes up in Tarot that, about karmics, that... Well, they're obviously the karmic, and I'm exempt from that. Uh, there's no way I'm going to have any karma <laughs> right now. But there's no way I'm going to have any karma to deal with. It's that bit that's the problem. It's them that's the problem. The blame. The other person's at fault. It's got to be. It can't be me, right? So I can't be the karmic person. Surely why would that happen to me? Right? Everybody has the same amount. It, you know, karma doesn't come in a bottle <laughs> where you're kind of like, well... Eh. Sort of half the amount of karma, you know. And <laughs> right, Angelic? But let's see. Um, so Capricorn. Capricorn. You see? Tension of love. <laughs> love will do it to you every single time. Okay. Why love actually destroys people, I've got no idea. <laughs> Why people want love that bad, I've got no idea. But, well, I mean, I would say that. But... <laughs> It's, it's kind of like, how am I looking at this card here? You see, it's looking back over my shoulder at this guy that's caused all the problems. It's him that causes my problems. It's my ex-husband and wife that keeps coming back all the time because I keep allowing them to. 
I keep allowing this person to do this. Okay, if you wasn't allowing them to do it, they wouldn't be doing it, right? Because they wouldn't be in your life. So what are you going through? Separation and divorce. Okay, backwards and forwards, in and out, to and from. Okay, feels like a bit like Dick and Dom. Dominic, Donna, Daniel. <laughs> you're, right, you're right, guys. <laughs> but like, is this like Batman, Superman in just like Batman in disguise, disguising myself? Someone's trying to get back in, but disguise what they're doing. Unless it's Halloween. Is it Jason, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie? But I'm trying to like disguise myself to get in. Like cover something up so people don't know who I am. Could be I am. But like um, trying to cover something up to get back into your good books and your good grace. So the name Grace or anybody that's like G, Graces, Grace, Saving Grace. I ain't going to save you. God won't save you. I don't know why people think that God is there to save you. <laughs> like, <laughs> why do people think that religious things are going to save you? Trust me, I've tried to do the best I ever can in my life. The best I ever can, right? At the moment, my channel is going down. It's just going down and down. Like I'm losing subscribers no matter how much I'm trying to get people to like and comment. I've had loads of people leaving Patreon, okay? And I do my job by telling the truth. But shit still happens. It doesn't matter what you do in life, okay? You also get some lunatics think that's because you've done that to me and that's why. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, let's see. Um, some people in life, Capricorn, are just a shit sponge. As long as you keep shitting out your ass, you're all right, okay? But if you talk out your ass... It's not accepted. If you shit out of it, brilliant. All day long, bruv, can you shit out your own arsehole? That's great, right? Because you might be firing bullets here or blanks, whichever way, right? But, like, you know, if you talk out your arsehole, right. people can smell bullshit a mile off right here. <laughs> Let's see. So Capricorn, what they got coming up this week? So you got Judgment. Libra, getting divorced, separated, back together, to and from, Noah's Ark, in they come, out they go, in they come, out they go. Okay, no one's staying put, people are schizophrenic and paranoid shit here. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Wands is worried that someone or something is going to be taken from me here. Now it might be, it might be, okay, but it'll be in the hands of Grace, it'll be in the hands of God, Steve Vai. So it could be my channel is taken away from me. I don't know. <clears throat> I've actually wrote to YouTube. Okay, because I've, you know, the join button below. Uh, I've actually thought, you know what? I'm going to open the join button. Um, whether it is there or not, I don't know. But your reading may be on there. So I'm leaving Patreon open and also the join button below. And there are different benefits. But what I've asked is when you have the join button, they charge you 30%. 30%. You get 70% of whatever it is that you earn on here, they take 30. When that goes over to AdSense, they also take 30, so 60%. <laughs> Did you know? In uh, From whatever it is that I earn on here, they take, uh, America takes 30% of my wages each month. That's not a year. That's each month, 30%. 30%. So I don't know if the join button, because if it is, I'm not going to do it, but it should be open. Don't know yet, I'll let you guys know. But this is, I'm worried that something is going to be taken from me. Money, clients, people, okay, religion, whichever way it is. But I'm worried that something is going to be taken. Children, my lover, someone's going to, or my mother is going to be taken from me. Someone could be ill, okay. And I'm worried that someone's going to be taken, okay, or money's going to be taken, or my clients are going to be stolen and taken. Um, people losing interest, okay. Um, told you, year seven. Deny. <laughs> There's loads to go over for year seven. Why is everything suddenly being taken from me? Year seven. I'm a life path seven. Okay, and now we are in 2023, year seven. Things being taken. Okay, because <laughs> we're in a karmic year of seven. Okay, 
So eight might be where I decide to give up YouTube maybe next year. Don't know. <laughs> it depends. <clears throat> it depends on how the years kind of like, because you know me, I'm always about numerology. Okay. And this is, like I said, things being taken. Things that were working at one point, not working. Okay. Things that have gone wrong that you can't believe that are being taken from you. People, jobs, money. Why is everything being taken? Why is suddenly the government overcharging everybody with, you know, rent, like a gas, electric? Why has the bills suddenly gone up? Okay. Why has the wages gone down and the bills have gone up? Why is everybody being quit and leaving their jobs? You know, why is everybody quitting and leaving? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> That's why it's a difficult year, right? It's what it's going to be. We're only just started, <clears throat> right? So you get where if you guys are worried that someone ends up having a promiscuous eye, it's because they're fed up with someone else's bullshit. Getting fed up with your bullshit. Why do you think I look elsewhere? Is it because I'm happy in this circumstance? Or is it because I'm an emoji? Sad. Right? Or am I happy and sad? But if I was happy and you know it, you would know it. But if you're not happy, then what the hell are you complaining about now? Mm -hmm. What are you complaining about now? What are you worried that's going to be taken from you? Again. Because it can be someone that's kind of like, you know, I've always got my eye on you. Constantly, wherever you go, I've got my eye on you. Like, you know, this can be where someone is equivocally quivering at the knees, obsessed about their partner, about their love interest or partner. Worried that some other man or woman might be taking them away from them. Or that focus, because a Ford Focus could be a car. But because your focus isn't on me 24 7, 20, maybe Scorpio, 4 isn't here at the moment. Well, it could be Scorpio, Aries, 7. Okay. Why is it that you don't focus on me 24 7, that your life has to proceed as things that you do on your own? Can't believe that you would even think about wanting to do things on your own without me constantly thinking about you 24 7 that's too much attention that's too much attention okay i need to focus on you that much all of the time that when i'm at work i'm thinking about you when i'm at home on my own i'm thinking about you if you don't come over tonight and spend time with me i'm wondering why didn't you do that don't you want me anymore why don't you want me anymore that leads to more rejection, abandonment, fear of engulfment, fear not someone not committing fully. <laughs> I mean, even married couples shouldn't spend that much goddamn time with one another. It might be because you're spending too much time, okay? Too much time. But these are obviously the people that are getting divorced still, still going through the struggles of trying to get someone else away from them, but they won't. Peter and Paul keeps coming back all the time to do what? Try and take maybe their children from them. You got married. You had children. Suck it up. Deal with it. Because you'll be dealing with it for the rest of your life. That never ends. Okay. So why you think that will, I've got no idea. Okay. But some people believe that that might run out at some point. Okay. Some of you could be homeless or facing eviction here. This is Victor Meldrum. <laughs> what the bloody <laughs> but like one foot in the grave right here i'm pretty much running towards my grave site here so you might be visiting one of an elderly person or resident or something like that but like i feel like i'm one foot in the grave and one foot out okay so it might be where there's death around there is like uh divorce here Someone facing eviction and not being able to pay their bills and the money that they have and can't afford it, okay? So I've got to think of any tactic that I can. Might be asking parents or fathers or mothers for loans, like I need a loan because I've got no way out and I need a loan, okay? Could be a bank loan. Could be I need a loan for this and a loan for that. I feel alone, I am alone, I'm wholly 
Macaulay Culkin alone, I'm home alone, or I'm homeless, or I'm lawless, or Laura Lucy Lucifer. There's panic in the streets, guys. There's panic in the streets here. Dry your eyes, mate. Okay, dry your eyes, mate. Or uh, you're so fit and don't you know it? But probably not, <laughs> right? Because if you were fit, you'd be in a decent relationship if you were fit. You could be physically unfit like myself with bitch dicks here. Physically unfit, okay? Needing to cut down on your pork, right, mate? Get some exercise. Thing is, I am eating pork. <laughs> that's the thing. So I don't need to cut down on my pork rind because that's what I'm actually eating on my carnivore diet. It's actually really good. Okay, but oh, I'm not going to go into that again. But anyway, Jen, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Let's see what else comes off this reading. Okay, this is just a free part. Okay, because I've got a feeling there's some com complications ahead, sweethearts. So if you really want to support me, I don't know if the join button is below, but if I'm going to be adding the videos there anyway. Patreon is obviously still open, and it will always remain open, no matter which one. It's just that some people are, they want to join Patreon, but they can't because it won't accept their banking. It's just roughly the same amount of money, but when I have the join button, if they YouTube get back to me in 24 hours and says, right, the join button is now accessed, you can do it, and you can see it in blue, okay, what I'm going to be putting on there is all monthlies, all weeklies, all teaching videos, maybe going live. You get free access to like uh, emojis that I've all set up, uh, stars, uh, how many months you've been subscribed, benefits that you get along the way. Uh, if it does pick up and they're not charging me 70% in tax altogether, uh, I'll probably start doing live. So when you're live, it will come up all in blue and say that you can comment and you can ask questions and all that stuff. And I might do live readings. Okay. Don't know yet, it's very new, but at the moment, 100% that is there is Patreon. That link is below. It will still always be open. It's not closing. It's just probably going to be two options, okay, for people that want different stuff. Don't know yet. It's very fresh. But over on Patreon, you will get silver or gold too is the one that you need, but I will do you all of your cards, tell you everything that you've got coming up, and try to form it in the story, in the telling the story the way I do, okay, that's unique to the way I do it. OK, so I'll tell you everything that you've got coming up this week. You'll have access to everything over there anyway, because it's all constantly put over there. I might start doing readings that are over there only. OK, and then just doing other readings for here. If I do the join button, that will be where you get access to part one, which will be this one. And also the extended before anybody else gets it. OK, so it might be things like that, but. Feel free to take a browse around. But if you're cack lovered, bruv, and you've got no money, you probably won't want to. <laughs> but I really hope that you do, because Steve is struggling at the moment. If you want to help me out, I need people to join. Okay, I really need people to join. And I really need those likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, share it. Do whatever you want, bruv. But I need your guys' help to make this channel grow and not go down. Because if it keeps going down... I'm going to end up like that and thinking, well, if the money's really stopping, then I'm going to have no other choice but to get a job. OK, so, you know, it's it's down to you guys, really. OK, so thanks very much. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you soon.